Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh in this video we are going to learn about profibus master slave concept what is tip switch and why we need to understand that and how to do the addressing in tip switch these all topics will be explained in today's video you just need to stick in for a while so that you can understand each and every concept i will try to make it as easy as eating delicious food so let's start it think of profibus network Profibus network consists of master and slave arrangement. Devices that are slave are bound to respond to the master device. But slave devices cannot initiate the commands. But master devices are there to initiate the commands and slave devices are bound to respond it. So now there is a addressing involved and there is a tip switch. Before talking about that, I will try to relate this concept with the daily life so that you can easily pick up what I'm trying to say here. Relax. This is much easier than what you think about that. Take a scenario where you are at the stage and you're trying to call a specific person but you are saying come here. So you're not naming it, you're not naming that person. What's going to happen? All crowd will definitely come to you know your stage so it's very very important to call the person by name so that you can pick up a specific person from the crowd same thing applies in a profibus network where we have multiple devices connected on the bus network and try and share the data with the master device so when master initiate the command he should initiate it by id and that's the reason we need to give an ID. We need to give a unique ID to each device on Profibus network. I'm going to show you now IAM module. This is Siemens IAM module you can see at the picture. So this IAM module have a switch setting here you can see here. So by this tip switch you can assign a specific ID for specific IAM module. One where you can actually define a unique ID by hardware itself. So there is a tip switch in IAM module you can see here. This is IAM module and this is a tip switch here. I will explain you how actually it works. As you can see here in the picture, we have settings like this 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So if you want to give that unique ID 3, what you're going to do, you will just turn on 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. But let's suppose you want to give a 99 address. How are you going to define that? For 99, you have to do 1, 2, 32, and 64. Because if you add these, it will become 99 here. That's how actually you can define a specific unique ID to each IAM module or each Profibus device on the network. You need to understand here that you have to give a unique ID to specific device on the Profibus network within the range 0 to 127. There are a couple of other things that you need to understand. The addresses 126 and 127 are specified for special use. Address 0 has become something for default address that vendor assigned to the network. So addresses that are available to assign to any Profibus network device 1, 2, 1, 2, 5. So that's all about addressing. This Profibus is a huge concept. We are going to talk about in detail in upcoming sessions. And if you will subscribe this channel, that will also help me to make more content because, because your subscription really shows that how much you love the content from IT and Automation Academy. I have started vlogging channel. If you guys want to see that, the link of that vlogging channel will be you know here and there somewhere. You can see that. That's all and see you in next weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.